Scientific innovations usually involve a lot of experiments before a desired product is finally achieved. Innovators may suffer multiple failures, but only the strong, determined and visionary individuals register major breakthroughs. A team of three students of Changwali Secondary School in Chikube District are budding scientists who have made a simple drone aimed at delivering medicine in a much easier and comfortable manner. Take an example, someone is told to deliver medicine uh, at a certain point where it is required and there is a lot of traffic jam. So we made this as a model to show you that we can use this to deliver the goods without any problem of uh, traffic jam. These young scientists have named their drone DIY, an acronym for Do It Yourself. It's entirely made of plastics. It's a Benson and then these propellers that are repelling, those ones were made out of a dish. We had to cut a dish and then uh, we made the propellers. And then there's something like a metal that is radio seeing. That one there was made, uh, it was, um, there were motors that we bought at, at a cheap price. For now, the DIY drone seems to be working. The trial at once attempted to fly it, but it crashed due to instability. There is that possibility that this thing can fly up. Just because we know that science cannot be achieved in one day. We need to try several times. We do the required research and the several research. Uh, this thing will require some time. If we got materials, good materials, we can make it fly and more reliable. The students are also planning to start making a small aircraft after perfecting their drone project. So if uh, we get uh, support and then we get maybe money in future, we can make a market and maybe an industry of, of uh, producing this instead of buying things like from China, right? But we manufacture them here in Uganda. Tony Karamaji, Matia Mulumba and Bobome Katabana showcased their drone during this year's National School Science Symposium. They are part of the tens of high school students from across Uganda who showcased their various scientific innovations at the event. The Executive Secretary of Uganda Science Education Program, Lawrence Senkubuke, says the future is bright for young scientists in the country. The future of these students are scientific entrepreneurs who will be able to take science beyond the classroom into their real life to make something for themselves. This is something that we need to keep pushing and one of the things we are happy about is the Rural Second Curriculum which now requires, it's no longer an option, it requires every learner to do something practical. The National School Sang Symposium was held at St. Joseph's Girls Senior Secondary School in Zambia on Saturday. It ran under the theme Scientific Innovations and Enterprise in addressing the COVID-19 global challenges. Daniel Kibet. NTV. You are welcome. You want to interview us?